you cannot do an agreement with artist it means the same where you cannot disclose the part which is confidential very simple and here we are dealing with the ui ux the source code which is the entire system of a website right you cannot reveal it the developer is bound not to reveal it and then you create a copyright for your client so that his ui ux his website is protected protect the domain name as well take a trademark registration also i'm just going again i'm teaching or sharing actually with you guys that each extra step that comes around with every other agreement that we deal with yeah so take all these steps do i need to speak more on confidentiality in non disclosure i'll read this for you guys um the parties agree not to reveal publish or otherwise disseminate confidential information to anyone other than those who are named in that agreement further this clause also states that unless otherwise specified each party must take reasonable precautions and exercise due care to prevent any disclosure publication dissemination of confidential information that is understood if something is confidential you got to take due care around it right don't you take care of your assets right what is confidential we keeping confidential that is my asset and you cannot go around it just like that you cannot go and publish it without my permissions further bounds to or more parties or all the involved parties to ensure and agree that specific type of information that is furnished by one party or all the parties will remain confidential okay Let's move ahead, guys. I'm sure this clause is very clear. Doesn't need any mention. And if you guys have any question, feel free to raise it. Next, ownership and rights. Elements of all deliverables are to be owned by the company. We already spoke about it. Company shall own all U.S. and international copyrights and all other intellectual property. Basically, that's the fact. Additional material added to the website will. exclusively belong to the developer now see this is again a business understanding okay if something which is already created by the developer and the developer is giving it out to you which is not um under the work hire process with you then of course the developer can claim it but what if it is all created after uh, the discussion with the company and the developer then of course it will be a work of the company to be very we don't don't get confused if there are simple rules i've spoken about it and if you feel confused ask me it's very very clear if i give you the work to create something you i will have the right and if you have already created something and you're offering it to me while i'm in you know you're doing a job for me of course you have already created it you have your ideas and thoughts behind it so please feel free to just you know let the other side know that hey i am the owner of it i here is the developer is this clear guys can you show me some thumbs up i really need to understand it you guys have understand this copyrights trademarks ownership very very important sakib can you please tell me yes we have Five six thumbs up in the chat already. Shilpi, Purvez, Akshat, Anand, all of them. So okay. yes, I think we're good with this. Great. Uh, Anand had a question related to confidentiality. Should we? Yes. So yes. he is asking basically, what are the consequences of not having a confidentiality agreement? Because usually confidential information is not disclosed or displayed on a website. What remains is just a code. unless personal information is being displayed no no anand it is not that limited the way you have put it it's a little broader see if you don't put a clause again it becomes the case of assumptions and presumption and then the fight can be very bad also remember i just spoke that agreements are brought into existence just to deal with worst case scenario so why are you not putting a clause which is such a standard which is one of the most important component it is not only 
limited to the idea that it is just source code we're not revealing the data no it's not till that think a little more on it and you will get it that it is you are like you telling me that hey there is a human body but i choose to take out the liver of it and let the body be in place how does it matter no it matters the liver is which collects all the information you know all the products and collects it and you know works on it the entire night and then makes us uh, uh, rejuvenate the next morning releases all the toxins out of the body it's working for you doing so many functions similarly is the confidentiality clause you you cannot say that it is very limited think a little about it from the data protection act think a little about the from the it act then you will get a hang of it you always even let's say you don't get it if you don't get it it's also fine but remember that somebody told you that even if you feel lazy to put the confidentiality clause please put it my request hmm? all right i don't see any other questions i think we can move can we move to the next slide please terms of payment this will be a milestone thing i complete i say i complete the first round then i can complete the second round you can name the completion of rounds it can be um testing approvals rejections review you know uh, hosting displaying maintenance however you want to because it it will a lot of things will come to you from the developer so don't worry okay this is not for you to understand i am sharing because of course when you will also work more and more in the technology you will also understand all of these no? i'm just sharing so that you get more clarity from this side all of this will come in the proposal itself you make a copy paste agreement should have a clear cut payment scheme stated in the agreement itself price for website creation price for website hosting invoicing in this clause the modes of payment in the entire fee charged or to be paid by the client to the service provider shall be mentioned a simple clause guys put everything don't miss out on anything if there is an advance payment if there is a collective payment if there is uh, you know payment uh, based on performance if there is a delay in the services provided put everything how your invoice will go in how many days it should be paid if there is an error how many days it needs to be notified once it is notified in how many days are they going to review and send you a new one if they send you a new one in how many days then that that is going to be paid okay so all of these should be put very clear cut now you must be thinking why you need to put your head you don't put your head go and tell the finance department ask your client to give you that model they will give it and draft the clause accordingly that's how it is supposed to be you not supposed to do the work of the finance the marketing and the operation ask all right when you ask for it they will send you and then you just need to draft clauses around it yeah just telling you again so that you know what's happening from where what kind of information you can ask from which one if they don't have separate also the client who's representing you is coming to you talking to you you tell them they going to source the information they might be the holder of that information and share it with you yeah makes sense all right should we move to the next slide ipr i spoke about it i the very big thing website development means you are developing what your website what is your website your website is your entire business right your entire display <laughs> you are being represented in the form of the website so you will have to protect it how do you protect it by protect in the ipr okay and how do you protect the ipr by protecting the trademark registering the trademark registering the copyrights Do you understand? So copyrights, UI, UX has to be done before you end with your agreement with the website developer. You make sure that you ask him for the UI, UX, and get the thing on a CD which is required to um, get a copyright done. So if you ever done a copyright, you guys might be knowing it. Okay, get it from your developer. Get it in your agreement. and also that we might ask you we might look into the copyrights later so please help us and they are supposed to help you with it similarly for the uh, trademark 
you make sure that you register the domain when you are hosting the website huh? that will give a lot of um, security and protection to your particular uh, website very important guys i have dealt with these issues of i told you in the very beginning that it was challenge dealing with the website development part and i think i yes i learned about the copyright i learned about the domain to so what is it say it says anything created under the agreement is owned by the owner customer unless otherwise signed i told you this right unless otherwise agreed upon like the text the design the graphics the source codes the data the website layouts software broadcast images on the website to so all of these together this all is created by the website developer and this all is yours okay and this all can be protected under ipr by way of copyrights and by way of trademark did i make sense any questions um i don't see any questions in the chat as of now yeah. so i would say any questions guys or do we move is it going smooth for you guys you guys are catching up with me yeah i okay, i think Sakiba. i think we should move since i don't see Am any my audible Yes, you are. We're we're losing you a bit sometimes, but it's nothing that we can't get context or something.